Hi everyone, yes, I'm opening more Toy Mini Brands Series 2 Wave 2. Even though I'm not looking to have a complete collection of this series, I'd love to get a Frozen Moment and see how it is compared to the Food Mini Brands Frozen Moment. That's just one of the reasons why I'm opening these, but honestly, I just had them laying around because when they came out, I ordered them from multiple places so that I can get a video out for you as soon as possible. Plus, all of you really enjoyed the other video I did on these. So let's find out if there's a Frozen Moment hidden in one of them. In the first pod we have the Zuru Fidget Cube. The second pod comes with something new that I haven't seen before. It's the Littlest Pet Shop and it looks like it's a platypus. I think that's what you call it. It's a really nice mini and I like that you could, you know, potentially pull it out of the package if you want to. And here we got a really nice looking fidget spinner. And yes, if anyone is wondering, it does actually spin. This is Tux from Fingerlings, and if I remember correctly, this was already part of a different series. And if that's the case, then there's probably more minis that are repeating, which, as you know, I have a big problem with. I think that every series should have unique minis. I mean, that's the point of having a series, right? And here we got a Nido. This time, I think it's called the Atomic Nido Squeeze. All I know is that it looks different from the one that you get in Toy Mini Brand Series 3. Okay, okay, I'll take it out. Especially since uh, we can put it back in without ruining the mini, you know? So here it is. I don't know how accurate it is compared to the, you know, real life thing. I've never, you know, gotten one of these, but I'm sure some of you might be able to tell. The zippers are actually terrible on these balls. I mean, so far. Well, actually, what am I saying? This is just the second ball, but still, I mean, it's not a good start. We got the Zuru Smashers Lava Slime Surprise. We got our first duplicate. Um, this is Tux from Fingerlings. This is Kinex Amusement Park in a Box. I have never played with these, but uh, they look pretty fun. Okay, this one kind of just came apart. And inside there is a purple Care Bear. This is the only way I like to get boxes from mini brands when, you know, there's actually stuff inside them. Oh, this is nice. It's called Pound Puppies. And as you can see, there's a little dog right there. And knowing how mini brands usually do things, you would think that, you know, it's just the head. But no, if you look inside, there's the rest of his body in there. That is actually pretty neat. I, I really like this mini. Yeah, zippers are definitely bad. And by the way, I am using a cuticle pusher because, yeah, gone are the days where things like these get under my nails. Wow, this is really nice. So it's called Angel High and the whole thing is like a plastic ball. And as you can see, there's a little figure in there. And the ball also has these wings on the back. It's really interesting. I haven't seen, you know, this in real life, like in Walmart or Target, but I'm going to keep an eye out for them because I'm really curious to see how big this actually is. Based on the mini, it looks like it would be a pretty big toy. They really paid attention to details when it comes to this, but then again, it's one of their own products. So maybe that's why. In here, unfortunately, we just have a box. It's called Boom Boom Balloon. I think I've seen people play this game on YouTube and it looks to be pretty fun. It seems like this is a Blues Clues and New board game. In other words, the miniature form is literally just a box. All right, here's our second double. This is the Littlest Pet Shop um, Platypus, at least that's how I call it. And it looks as if the package just has like a burnt mark or something, right? I hope it's not dirty. I hope it's not something more than that, but it's caught between the plastic and the cardboard, so I really can't tell. And yeah, I was kind of wondering where these are. Uh, this is an accessory. It looks to be a shopping basket. I mean, it's the shopping basket that kind of rolls and you can, you know, just drag it after yourself. By the way, what I really wanted to do for this week's video is open more of these new miniverse balls, but I'm waiting to get a little device that will help me with uh, putting these together. And if everything goes according to plan, the next video will be me opening a bunch of these. Okay, well, this is actually the first zipper that, you know, comes off as it should. Okay, this seems to be a new mini, but it's just a box. I mean, I saw it's a box, but I thought that, you know, once I turn it around like this, there's going to be something inside that we can see. Hungry Hungry Hippos is a cool game, though, so I can, I can let that slide. I've seen this one before. It's the Jojo Karaoke Microphone. 
See, all minis should be something like this. To be honest, if there were no boxes in this series, or any series at all, I would be really happy. Right, this is the good old Rubik's Cube keychain. <laughs> the Tamagotchi, it's, uh, this is one of my favorite minis. How cool would it be if they figured a way to actually put, I don't know, like a string or something to resemble that chain that holds it? I mean, the way it is like that printed, you know, on the cardboard behind it, it actually looks very realistic, but yeah, just saying. And another accessory. It's literally the same shopping basket, but this time it's just a different color. Okay, this was another perfect unzipping experience. All right, we got another double, the Hungry Hungry Hippos. This seems, oh, okay. So they do repeat quite a few, um, a few minis from the previous series. I mean, there's only one previous series. It's the mini brands, uh, sorry, the toy mini brands series one. Yeah, that's a little disappointing. And we got a poppet. It's a heart-shaped poppet. And yes, for those of you that are wondering, this actually works. I already shown that in a previous video, so I'm not gonna do it right now. We got the Poppy Pog from Pets Alive. The face doesn't look amazing, but overall it's a, it's a nice mini. All right, good, no accessories, but we do have a pretty nice mini. It's called My Pal Violet, and it's made by Leapfrog. Okay, a collector's guide. And this is interesting. We got a tub of slime. Oh, actually it's a bucket. And the million dollar question is, does it open? No, it does not open. But I think there's something in there because it feels a little bit heavy than, than it should be. Well, maybe it's just in my head, but I kind of feel like something is in there. It doesn't make a big noise. Maybe it's these things that, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll crack it open in a short or something. Okay, we have a Razor Flash Rider 360. Yeah, there's really not much I can say about these. They're just boxes, so. Okay, this is another, um, another Tamagotchi. I'm just noticing that it says the original virtual reality pet. So is that how they imagined virtual reality back then? Interesting. Okay, and this is another Pets Alive Poppy Pog. Let's see, last pod. Well, it's almost like the entire ball just repeated. Um, my pal Violet. I'm kind of starting to lose my hope that I'm gonna get a frozen moment in any of these balls, but you never know. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say before we open the rest of these is that I got some more fan mail from you guys. Here's what I got. I'm really curious to see what's inside, but um, I think we're gonna wait until the end. Let's open the rest of the balls and then we're gonna see exactly what's in here. Okay, I remember this one. Oh, okay, the box is a little... Um, it's not a little, it's just open. <laughs> I was gonna say I remember this one from a previous series, or should I rather say from series one. It's the Alive Minis Land Cub. It's a cool mini and it's just a shame that it's repeating from a different series. All right, and here we have the Power Rangers. I thought for a second that it's just a box, but then I saw that no, uh, there's actually a figure in there. And it's a pretty detailed one considering how small it is. We got Applejack from My Little Pony. And no, if you're wondering, I don't know the characters. I literally just read the name that's on the container. Okay, we got another Poppet, another heart Poppet. It's exactly the same as the previous one. And something we haven't seen in a while, two toy mini brands paper bags. Okay. What in the world is this? Oh, okay, it's like Play-Doh stuff. So it's a fire truck and I'm guessing you put Play-Doh somewhere in there. And then, well, let me just look on the back, it's easier. Yep, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, SpongeBob, with no pants on. <laughs> okay, this is funny. I haven't seen this toy before, but it's called SpongeBob Underpants. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to add to this one. Oh man, this is another one of those um, Crayola washable paint palettes. 
another Tamagotchi. This time it's a different color. I think the other ones were pink. This one is blue or turquoise. And an accessory, because why not? To be fair, I mean, they're not that bad. Um, this series doesn't seem to have a lot of them. We just got three and we opened, I think, eight balls. Yeah, this is the eighth ball. We just got three accessories. I think that's good. And let's see, we got Hope. That is such a puppy face. I mean, I don't even know what that is. Is it a fox or a, or a kitten? It's actually a dog, so puppy face was very fitting. It says over there under the name, the healing husky. Let's see, is it another? Yep, another, you know, SpongeBob without its pants. Yeah, SpongeBob in underwear, and it seems like this package is kind of like coming apart. This seems to be another Care Bear. This time we got a green one. I'm pretty sure they might have names, it's just that I, I do not know them. Okay, another Pets Alive Poppy Pug. And a Nerf gun. It's actually a copycat of Nerf. Um, this is X-Shot from Zuru. Let's see, is it another Nerf gun? No, it's a Snow Blaster. I wonder if this actually works. I mean, once we're gonna get some snow, maybe I can buy one and see if it actually works. Because if it does, I'm pretty sure my nephews will have a, sh um, a lot of fun. That, yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, I remember this being part of a different collection too. It's the Crayola Create and Color. Okay, another Tamagotchi. This one looks to be a different color too. The other one was definitely turquoise. This looks more bluish. It's like a baby blue. And another Kinex. This time we got the London Eye once again. I think last time I opened these, I got the, um, the London Eye, but I got the rare one, the metallic one. And this is Cards Against Humanity Absurd Box. Yeah. I was saying yeah like that because on the back they actually have some uh, not bad bad stuff but kind of like explicit in terms of you know leading things things that lead to things oh this is cool I just saw this the other day with my uh, sister in Walmart too bad it's hollow. They should have put some plastic here too. But this actually looks really cool. You know, the real thing on the on the shelves of the store. It's called Smashers Dino Island. Okay, we got another poppet, but this time it's a um, it's a ice cream cone. And in here we got more um, Nerf gun copycat. Uh, this is the this is the Zuru X shot Dino attack. I mean, as a mini, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, look at that. Golden Boy got himself a gold mini, finally. This is Gary from SpongeBob, and it's looking really nice. I just noticed this as I was putting it down. And we got another um, Violet. My pal Violet. All right, this is the last ball, which means it's the last, I don't know, five chances for me to get a frozen moment. Hopefully there's one in here. It would be really crazy and I would, yeah, I would consider myself really lucky if there's one in here. If we had to wait until the last ball for me to get a frozen moment. And if I was to choose, I'd probably go with the slime. I really like this one. Well, I was just saying I want a uh, frozen moment slime. Instead, I got a bucket of slime. It's pretty close, but not close enough. <laughs> This is another cardboard box. It's called um, Whammo Classic Water Wiggle. That is pretty strange. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, another purple um, Care Bear. Okay, this is a scooter, a uh, box from the Razor scooter. And this is my last chance of getting a frozen moment, so. Yep, no, no epic ending. We do, however, have a cool mini. It's called Switch and Go T-Rex Truck. It's kind of like Transformers, but it's a T-Rex instead of a Autobot or Decepticon. And just like that goes my chance of getting a toy mini brands frozen moment because 
I don't think I'm going to purchase these again. I might get some of the Toy Mini Brands Series 3 maybe in the future, but not the Toy Mini Brands Series 2 Wave 2. And now let's open these two envelopes and see what's inside. I've been dying to find out and I'm glad the moment is finally here. So this one comes from DTTPLAWF. I'm not sure exactly what that stands for, but um, thank you so much for sending me this. I really appreciate it. Oh, okay. Thanks for getting my mail. As an appreciation for getting my letter from your P.O. box, I will send you a sonic plate. Red. Thanks. Signed DTTPLAWF. Yep, WF. So for those of you that don't know, this is a plate that you can get from Sonic. They had this deal with mini brands and they created, you know, some Sonic products that were also mini brands, but they were exclusive at Sonic. So I don't even know. I think you got them in the kids meal or something like that. And uh, this is one of them, I guess. Thanks a lot for sending this to me. I appreciate it. And then this package comes from CW. Um, I'm sorry. Usually I use first names, but um, unfortunately I wasn't able to, you know, decipher the first names. So I decided to just, you know, I decided to use your initials and Instead, just so I don't, you know, really butcher your first name. Holy moly. Um, oh, okay, let me get to the letter first. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you too. I know this is a little late, but I just got the package not long ago. All right, and the card says, Dear GB, hope you still need this frozen in time piece. My granddaughter and I watch all your videos together. She is five years old and her name is Addie. She's your youngest fan and I'm probably your oldest. <laughs> That's funny. Um, please give her a shout out. Hope you have a wonderful holiday. Wishing you peace, hope, love, and joy at Christmas time and always. God bless, Chris. Oh, Christina. That was the name on the package. I was like, yeah, good thing I didn't just say, you know, whatever I understood because it would have been bad. Um, Christina and Addie. So I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Addie. Thank you so much, Christina. This is uh, this is really kind of you. And I remember you now. You did reach out to me and asked if I um, if I still need this. And you said that you have one and you want to send it to me. I remember now. However, I'm still very much surprised that, you know, you parted ways with uh, this mini and actually sent it to me to help me complete my collection. And yes, I do still miss this. I don't have it yet. So thank you so much. Now let's pull up the collector's guide and put a check mark next to it. And now let's have a closer look at this mini. Look at that. It's uh, the frozen moment drink from uh, Carl's Jr. It looks really nice. Let's see what else we have here. We got uh, a sticker of uh, Lumiere. I think that's what his name was, right? Wait a minute. I think this might be one of those water tattoos. Yep, definitely it is one of those. Let me... Let's see. If I open stuff like this, then it'll be kind of like here. Okay, I need water. I'll be back. No, I just need to stay still for a few more seconds. I'm guessing these are from Addy directly. Oh, look at that. This is so sweet. Oh, wait, is it a different name? Okay, the name is definitely Addy. But here it says Aubrey. Anyway, and then she put Golden Boy over there. That is so sweet. Well, uh, thank you, Addy. This is uh, really nice. I appreciate it. You did a really good job with the drawing. I'm impressed. I hope you did one for grandma too. Otherwise, she's going to get jealous. Now, let's see if this turned out. Oh, yeah. Almost. Come on. Ah, almost. I probably should have put a little bit more water, but it's still looking good. Ooh, okay. I'm just going to let it dry. Look at that. That is so neat. Well, my dear friends, this is pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. As usual, you guys stay golden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.